The Industrial Revolution in the late 1700s, early 1800s in England introduced a lot of machinery uh, into the agricultural industry and many other industries around the world. This particular machine is a chaff cutter uh, and was first produced in the late 1700s, early 1800s. This particular one was manufactured by Bentle, who was a farmer who uh, wanted to in develop a new plough because the one he had was not very good, so he, he built his own. And from that, he came on to building a variety of machines, and this is just one of them. Like all machinery, it comprises of a number of individual parts, so we'll take a look at those parts. This uh, is the flywheel uh, which holds the blades uh, that we use to cut the straw and the hay uh, around there. There are adjusting bolts on the outside to adjust the uh, forward and backward uh, cut of the, uh, of the blades and also obviously some control bolts um, that actually hold it on. It has a handle here, uh, a very long handle, and uh, why you may well ask, but uh, once it's in motion you need at least or preferably two people uh, to actually operate it. As the flywheel goes around, the blades come across the cutting edge uh, where the material is fed through and cut it off. Right, the next piece we're looking at is the gearbox, which is under this removal, easily removable cover. And inside we see the gears. You'll Notice I mentioned earlier that we cut hay in two different lengths and in order to do this uh, we adjust the speed of the drive cogs which we'll look at shortly uh, and that will give us a difference between the length. The gears drive so and at the moment we're in the lower gear and it's driving straight through that pulley there and we This is the actual shaft that drives the gears, and you'll we'll see it's going relatively slowly. So we can move the gear forward into the next gear. see that the gear shaft is moving even slower. So the faster the drive works, the longer the shaft, and the slower it works, the shorter the shaft. There's a number of lubrication points down there, 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 uh, and also a number. Of well, we've been talking about the drive gears, and let's take a look at them now. The drive gears are uh, raised and lowered by a, an arm down here, and if you look carefully, that raises the top, uh, that raises the uh, gears up uh, and allows the material to be initially fed in, uh, and once it's in, uh, we drop it down again, and as you wind the, uh, uh, the the blade flywheel, uh, those gears will, will revolve. Uh, you won't be able to see them here, you can see them revolving really slowly. All right, the final part is uh, the feeder trough, which is this. It's actually hinged uh, so that it doesn't take so much room up in storage. Uh, and this holds the hay, and we're going to give you a demonstration. The hay is placed in here, although it wouldn't have been done so delicately once the machine was uh, uh, operating. All right, we'll take a look at the front now uh, and see how the, uh, the gearing and the feeding right, tooth the work. The part and the final part is the, uh, the feeding tray uh, where we put the hay in and in order to get it through the driving gears we have to lift it up. That raises the gears up and then we feed the hay through until it's gripped by those wheels. 
so, and then drop it down. Right, and as you can see, that's now grasped the hay. Firstly, uh, in ordinary operation within the small farm, they would have probably had a wicker basket or a piece of tarpaulin or something like that spread over the paws. Uh, well, we, we're going to use something a bit, a bit more sophisticated than that. In the shape of a galvanised bath. Right, let's give it a go. See, that's pretty hard, pretty hard going, which is why the hand is wrong. So it's enabled somebody off to be on the other end. Once it's moving, the weight in the blade wheel, uh, that is the point of assistance of cutting it. So let's change, let's change gear. considerably, I mean from three-quarters of an inch to half an inch in old money. <laughs> 